name is Vanessa Tate. I'm a two-spirited Cree woman from Opie and Cree Nation in northern Manitoba. I would like to acknowledge the Treaty 6 territory that we are gathered on. Thank you for welcoming us to your traditional territory to share our messages of we desire a better country. I will, I will be sharing with you a message and presentation that my sisters and I have presented and shared before. Now I only have seven minutes and not an hour and not 150 years. And while my sisters were unable to come with me, but they are here in my heart. And I was unable to bring the teepee bundle with me as the time and space would not accommodate it. Therefore, you will need to utilize your thoughts and imagine there's a teepee standing here beside me. The teepee, in my language, is Migawap, represents our indigenous women. Culturally, it has been the domain and place for our women. People ask, do you still live in a teepee? Really, I do wish we still lived that way because a teepee is a symbol of our women. It honors our ancestors, great-grandmothers, grandmothers, mothers, aunts, sisters, and all indigenous women everywhere. The teepee honored our place in the circle. <clears throat> Culturally and traditionally, the women were the carriers of the teepee. The teepee has 13 poles, which we rep to me represents 13 moons, and the hide or canvas that wraps the teepee symbolizes the shawl and the skirt which represents the sacred circle of life. There are many teachings of the Miguap, and today I would like to utilize it as a symbol and honoring of our indigenous women to share the message that I have for you. Our indigenous women and two-spirited people were honored and held an important place in the circle before the patriarchal colonial structures and forced assimilation began to dismantle our sacred tipi. In 150 years, Canada has managed to dismantle and try and destroy us as Indigenous people. The teepee poles that were held together by our ways and teachings and wrapped with that sacred shawl have been taken away by the colonial structures and packs of colonization, such as the power shift, the Eurocentric domination and the interruption of a way of being that was grounded in spirituality and connection to Mother Earth. The erosion of identity and belief systems, ceremonies, cultural gatherings, and traditional knowledge sharing was outlawed. Traditional roles of men and women interrupted. The land dislocation and land imprisonment, restrictions of traditional use of land, and the reserve system enforced. Christianize, civilize, and assimilate, taming the savage, occurred with the residential school system, the 60s scoop, with the intention and goal to kill the Indian and the child. Residential schools and the child welfare system. Children being taken from their families and placed in institutions where they were unable to speak their language and experienced horrific abuses. Although the last residential school has only recently shut down, today's main institution impacting families now is a child welfare system, where our children are being taken from their homes, culture, communities, and families to unfamiliar situations. Language and silencing. Banning of the languages in residential schools and punishment if used cause a disconnection of language, which disconnect the culture and ways of being. Power over and conditional rights, the Indian Act adopted, status membership introduced, are people not entitled to vote until 1960s, loss of status on gender and loss of matriarchal rights. Prior to contact, women held a sacred um, significant role in leadership in communities and nations. This clashed with the values of, and beliefs of the settlers. Settlers imposed their beliefs of gender inequality, ultimately breaking down their roles while devaluing our place, power, and purpose. Indigenous women are one of the most marginalized in Canada, as seen with the dispor disproportionately shameful rates of missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls and two-spirited people in this country. The hidden truth. Canadian history is written and taught from a settler's perspective and has unfortunately become the dominant narrative. History in many of our institutions seems to be taught on values of discovery, settlement, advancement, and progress without acknowledging the trauma, segregation, destruction, and negative consequences of advances. Truth of our people is often silenced and hidden in the shadows of the state. And genocide. This represents the smallpox and other diseases. Represents over 500 years of colonization, assimilation, legislation, legalizing oppressive acts. And the last phase of genocide is when the initiators step back 
wipe their hands and say, look what these people are doing to themselves. As Minister Duncan Campbell Scott said, our objective is, not to, is to continue until there is not a single Indian in Canada. Well, guess what, Mr. Scott, we're still here and Canada has not fully dismantled our people and our teepee. We have, uh, within our teepee, we, we usually have three that are tied together. And with those three, that represents our grandmothers, mothers, and children. This is our foundation that is strong, that is too powerful to allow a system to destroy us. The, po the poles that were dismantled, the ones um, that were taken from the teepee, those are our sisters, our missing and murdered Indigenous women and two-spirit relatives, and our children in a welfare system. We want to bring them home. We want our teepee and the domain that represents our place in the circle to be acknowledged and to bring back our traditions and to not be pushed away anymore. Therefore, we desire a better country for me as representative of this teepee and bringing back those poles so that we can wrap her once again, so that our women will have their place in the circle and our people can heal. I ask you now to participate, those that are in the audience and watching this video. Imagine that you're holding one of those teepee poles that were dismantled. I ask you, uh, as I'm going to sing the Strong Woman song, and as I am singing, imagine you are in, coming back to that circle, bringing that teepee pole and answering the question, we desire a better country, I will, and acknowledge what it is that you will do to assist the process in putting back together our teepee so that we can work together to have a better country that we so desire. <laughs> 